Hi, welcome to EO Life Education. My name is Rosie Germert, and myself and other EO Life experts, we come here to teach you all about how to use doTERRA's essential oils and doTERRA products. It's our mission that you don't ever have an essential oil or a doTERRA product that you don't know how to use. Hey, if this is your first time here, be sure and subscribe, hit that bell, because then every time that we put something up for you, you'll get notified. And of course, we love it if you would like this video too. We do our very best to answer every single question and we love hearing in the comments about what's working for you. So hey, let's get learning here on EO Life Education. So I told you a little bit about my daughter's background and why I love this topic, but I'm gonna share a story with you because I think it's important to understand where I come from on this. Um, when Katrina was little, she was hospitalized 18 times within 24 months um, due to severe respiratory issues. And despite all the tests that we did and despite everything the doctors were trying, we could not figure out what exactly it was that was causing these flare-ups and why she was struggling so much to breathe. And it started when she was nine months old. And when she was about three, um, actually it was the day before her third birthday was the last time she was in the hospital. So that would be in March. And about two months later, we were still struggling with respiratory issues. And I had this crazy idea cross my, my mind and sink into my heart going, you know, in today's world, is it even possible to live without any processed foods? This was sort of coming from her struggles and just wondering what was wrong with her and why she had these, these different issues. And partly just because I was watching person after person have health challenges and all I could think about is, what are we putting into our bodies? And I asked a couple of friends and of course, like, like what I do, I put it on Facebook and I'm like, hey guys, do you think it's possible to go 30 days without eating processed foods? And of course, my friends challenged me to try that. And it was through that 30 day challenge where I literally did not eat anything processed. I allowed myself to buy milk from the grocery store to be able to make yogurt or cheese or those types of things. And I didn't have access or couldn't afford a grain mill. So I did buy pre-ground whole wheat flour. But other than that, everything I got was fresh from the produce department. It was fresh from the meat department. And I learned how to make everything else. We made pasta, we made tortilla shells. Um, if it came from a box or a can, I didn't use it. And for the first time I noticed in that whole 30 days that I was doing that, Katrina didn't have any sort of flare up at all. And I knew I was onto something. And that opened the door to me to really explore what we're putting into our bodies and how it affects us. For her, diet was the number one problem. Um, I learned that her little system could not handle food additives, food preservatives, or food dyes. And so that meant for many, many years, we have not had any of those things in our home. We eat what is grown naturally. You know, there are some times that now we have found like at Whole Foods or PCC or local health food stores, I can find some convenience foods that have been broken down that have whole ingredients and aren't full of all the garbage. But it really opened my eyes to look at what was going into our bodies. And this was both in food, in the supplements that I was taking, I noticed that some of the, the vitamins that I used to have they had a lot of fillers in them and I couldn't understand, you know, before why I wasn't feeling any different. Um, well, it was during all of this phase of transition and exploring this diet and how to change things over that I started using doTERRA. And in using doTERRA, I had my eyes open to so much more. This, this instinct, this gut feeling I had of how to cut all the garbage out of our life became so crystal clear because doTERRA just made it easy. Um, you know, the Lifelong Vitality Pack, our supplement line was the cornerstone piece for me. And quite honestly, I would probably not have ever tried it uh, had, had I not decided early on that I was going to share the oils and look at doing this as a business. I couldn't, with a good conscience, decide to sell something if I hadn't tried their number one product. So I tried it fully expecting that it would be a one and done purchase, that I'd buy my vitamins, I'd try them so I could give customers an honest testimonial, and that would be it. Well, after those 30 days, health challenges that I just came to accept, like 
swelling in my joints and pain and discomfort that made it hard to get on the floor and play with my daughter um, started going away and I had more energy and I was feeling better. And the combination of those supplements was such a powerhouse for my body and the diet that I was keeping for my daughter's body, we noticed transformational changes. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about when it comes to changing your, your toxin-free living is that it's not just supplements and diet. Those are a huge part of what you wanna do, but we're gonna break it down to little steps, little lifestyle choices that you can make to make a huge difference. First of all, toxin-free living doesn't just look at the, the food that we put into our bodies. It also looks at the household products that we're using, the personal care products that we're using. When we seek to rid our bodies of toxins, we have to look at all of the toxins all around. Now, sometimes those transformations are super, super easy. You know, for me, it was not, it was a no brainer. I could throw away the old toothpaste that I had and use the doTERRA toothpaste. Right there, I got rid of all of those toxins. It was an easy change because one toothpaste to the other didn't seem to matter. Now, when I was looking at cutting out all of these different food additives, that was a whole different level of change. And everybody has to look for themselves at where is the best place to make that change and what steps do you take? Some of the simple things that I want to um, inspire you to do is to look at just one area of your life where you can start making changes. For you, maybe it's diet. Maybe it is the household products. Maybe it's personal care products. But choose one area to start with so it doesn't feel so overwhelming and so daunting to try and get rid of everything. And if you're a person that is on a budget or you have to live frugally, don't, don't worry about maybe using up the last of this cleaner or the last of this skincare product that you have on hand to save the money. Just know that you're saving for the next purchase to be something that's a higher quality or a little bit better. Now, um, before we move on to really getting into the nitty gritty of all these categories, I wanna focus on the food for just a few more minutes. Uh, some of the things that I think are most important is to look at your diet, and if you know that you have a diet that has a lot of toxins coming into your body, um, look at where the biggest source of that is coming in first and find one thing that you can eliminate. Now, for some people that I work with, that simply means that they're, they're going to stop going through a drive-through or you know, getting fast food once a week. And that is a huge commitment for them. That is so much a part of their everyday family life of going through fast food, that that's a really big challenge. And let's celebrate that they are choosing one day a week to stop doing that. Now, other people, that is like a no brainer. You're like, I haven't been to fast food in years and whatever. But look at your diet. Is there soda? Are there energy drinks? Are you maybe looking at, you know, a lot of carbs or too much protein or, you know, everybody's diet is different. We're not going to get into all of the nutrition factors because what you need for your body may be different what somebody else needs. But really take a look at your overall diet. Look for a week at what you're consuming and see where, where you can clean it up a little bit. Whether that is, like I said, cutting out the fast food, maybe that's changing and instead of having a all meat and potatoes meal, you do meat and vegetables. Or maybe you're already doing a lot of great vegetables and it's stepping it up to more organic or locally grown produce. We all can make those baby steps. Choose what's right for you. And if you have questions on that, or you want some ideas on how to do that on a budget, we can definitely circle back to that at the end of the class because I love to talk about that and have some great ideas. Because when I had to make that transformation, I was, you know, like I said, I was a single mom. My daughter had a lot of time in the hospital. And to go from the, the affordable food that I had in my cupboards to a completely natural, organic diet was an expense and it was a shift. And yet it was something so important that I found a way to make it work and I got really creative and I'd love to share those ideas with you, but I want to make sure we talk about the whole house. So let's look a little bit at um, the cleaners. When, hold on a second. Let's, let's back up. I did my slides differently. Let's look at the personal care products first. Now, obviously doTERRA makes this super, super easy for us. Like I mentioned, we can swap out 
your regular toothpaste for the on guard toothpaste knowing that there's no toxins in there um, it is a completely clean amazing toothpaste we also look at some of the other simple toxins that come into our lives anything that touches your skin gets absorbed into your body and i didn't necessarily understand how this worked and the science behind it is something you can explore on your own but if you're not quite believing you're a little skeptical i would encourage you to at some point, especially while we're home and not seeing as many people, grab a clove of garlic or two and put it between your toes one day. And just sit, you know, watch your show, read your book with a clove of garlic between your toes and see how long it takes until you start tasting that garlic. It was that type of an experiment that really blew my mind and made me understand that the things that were coming in contact with my skin we're really entering my body and it made a dramatic difference. Um, so when I'm looking at that kind of stuff, I wanna look at a whole body. What are we doing? Um, you know, for a long time before I found a doTERRA shampoo and conditioner, I had to seek out specific conditioners and shampoos that had no additives, no preservatives, no dyes um, for my daughter to use because she just couldn't handle it. If she was so sensitive that any of that stuff made a difference. And let me tell you, it is not easy to find completely natural products that don't have any fragrances or any of the colorings. Um, and I count my blessings every day that doTERRA has made life easier because they have brought in shampoo and conditioner that we can use. But beyond the shampoo and conditioner, what are you putting on your skin? What are you cleaning your skin with? What's your body wash, your bar of soap? Uh, do you use a sugar scrub or a salt scrub? And what kind of chemicals are in the fragrances? You know, when you look at the ingredients on the body products that you're using, it's amazing to me how many of them are full of garbage. Even high quality, you know, mall store brands that you think are so natural and organic can often have a lot of hidden fragrances. And just as a FYI tip, a thing that I learned through all of this process is that when you're looking at food, if it says natural flavors or in a, um, body products, if it says fragrances, those are generic terms that labeling is allowed to hide hundreds of things under that term. And not all of them are natural and not all of them are safe. So make sure that if you have a sensitivity, you really look at that. Um, those are two terms that we have just eliminated from our house. If a product says fragrances, it doesn't enter our home. If um, a food has natural flavoring or natural uh, ingredients, if they don't list it out, it doesn't come in the house. And now, as a side note, going back to the food, Sometimes I get questions like, is it really possible? Like, do they really have those things? And I always like to point out that for my little girl, I mean, she's 13 now, so it's not so little, but for my little girl, one of the foods that she always wanted because her friends had, or we'd go to barbecues, was a hot dog. Now, if you ever eat hot dogs, you know, when you look at the label, it's hard to find anything in there that is recognizable. And yet, through a little bit of diligence and through a little bit of research, we have now found four or five brands of hot dogs that list exactly what they're in there, down to the celery juice that they use to preserve it, um, the exact spices, the garlic, the black pepper, and usually fennel in a hot dog. Who knew? But if you want to go to that extreme, if you want to eliminate all of the toxins, just start reading the labels and cut out one or two things at a time. Um, when you're looking at your skincare, there are websites that you can go and rate your, your skincare products or your body care products. You can also find trigger ingredients that you want to avoid. And for some of us, it might be those really long chemical names. And other times, it's, you know, the fragrances is the last thing to go. But whatever that body product or personal care product is, you can find an alternative that is completely safe and natural and good for your skin. And I would encourage you to start with the doTERRA line because through doTERRA, um, we have almost all of the body care products that we need. We can wash our hair, we can wash our bodies, we can take care of oral hygiene. We now have deodorant options, we have skincare options. There's very, very few things that I find that I need for my body now. And once I started taking care of my body from the inside out, and making those switches in body care products, 
I realized I didn't need a lot of lotions. I didn't need a lot of extra support for my skin because it was healthy and it was feeling great and I was thriving on that. Then we move into the household products. And again, this is an easy place to get sucked up into a toxin-free living, but it takes baby steps. Um, many people, when they first start making this lifestyle change, they open their, their cabinet with all their cleaners and are either looking at all of the chemicals that are under there, or they're looking at all of the money that they've invested in these cleaners, and it can be really hard to make that transition. So I would recommend getting the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate as your first household product. Because when you have that in your hand, when you run out of your toilet bowl cleaner, you have On Guard Cleaner. When you run out of you know, a stain remover for laundry, you have the On Guard Cleaner. When you run out of your shower spray, your soap scrub, your non-invasive, non-abrasive uh, rub, you have your On Guard Cleaner. And it will take the place of all of those cleaners under your sink and you don't need anything else. Now, sometimes I will add in like baking soda um, and I'll make a baking soda scrub with the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate and baking soda to clean the porcelain sink or to scrub the shower if it's needing that extra touch. Um, I also have found that if I put On Guard Cleaner in one of the continuous mist sprayers with some water and spray down my shower um, when I'm getting out of the shower, I don't have mold growing in there. I don't have issues that I have to actually go in and scrub very often. I and mean, you still have to clean it, but it's not, not nearly as often as I used to. Uh, if you're someone who gets hung up on the fact that things don't smell clean, or you're using the On Guard Cleaner Concentrate and that On Guard Cinnamon smell, as much as you love it in the fall to diffuse and smell great and boost your immune system, just doesn't smell clean, let me give you a trick. Turn on your diffuser, add some lemon or some Purify, or if you're a pine salt sort of person, add in a little bit of Douglas fir. Your house is going to have that generic clean smell. You can use your On Guard Cleaner Concentrate, get your house sparkling and not have any of the toxins enter your home. A couple other things. Um, obviously, we've heard so much about the foaming hand wash lately and how important it is to wash your hands. That's an easy one. Um, most of those foaming hand soaps or the liquid hand soaps that you get, um, they're just full of chemicals. They're full of fragrances and synthetic things to try and make your skin soft. Well, guess what? If you don't put all those harsh chemicals on your skin to start with, your skin generally stays pretty soft. Um, and of course, we have the laundry detergent. Now, if you um, prefer to make cleaning products, there's a whole class that we can do on just how to make your own household cleaners, how to make your laundry detergent. Um, we don't have time to go into all of those recipes tonight and how to do all of that, but if that's something that you're interested in, hop on over to doTERRA.com and look at their blog and their DIY recipes. They have recipes to make shaving cream and bath bombs and toilet bowl cleaners and uh, what are those, the dishwasher um, cleaning tablets and garbage disposal tablets, like you name it, there's a recipe there to make it yourself naturally. So you don't ever have to feel like you're going without, but you're getting all of the support for your family, all of the things that you need without all of the chemicals that we are trying to avoid. Now, here's the cool part. We can take our oils and we can move them outside of the home as well. So if you are someone who does gardening, you don't have to worry about using chemical filled sprays you could make your own weed be gone cleaner or weed spray or plant dust you know naturally with things that you have in your kitchen and your essential oils um, we can even make our own pest repellents whether you're trying to get rid of mice in an rv which by the way let me tell you peppermint oil is really good for pests um, spiders don't like it a lot of the bugs don't like it mice don't like it so put peppermint oil in different places around your house. And you don't have to have the chemicals from pest repellents. Of course, we have the TerraShield products. So you don't have to go outside in the summer and spray yourself with DEET and chemicals and horrible things just to protect yourself from the bugs. Um, we have the citronella. We have so many different powerful oils that we can use to eliminate all of these different types of toxins. Now, another thing that I like to do to really help support 
my body naturally from the inside out is something called symphony of the cells. And either the symphony of the cells or the oil application, the aroma touch technique, is simply that. It's an oil technique that is applied to a person's back using a series of different essential oils. I added this in here because although we often think of things like that being more for immune support or anti-inflammatory or you know any of those other types of reasons we would use oils, um, the symphony of the cells is a great way to help your body process and eliminate and get rid of toxins in your body. So doing this um, on your own back or having somebody else do it for you in this order with the frankincense, the carrier oil, rosemary, clove, lemongrass, lemon geranium, geranium, sandalwood, turmeric, and peppermint. In that order, you just put a couple of drops on the back, massage it in, it's no fancy thing, you don't have to do a big massage. Do the next oil, rub it in, uh, that's gonna give your body support from the inside out. The other thing that is important to pair with doing the symphony of the cells is if you're trying to break down toxins that have been trapped in your body for you know, a week to a month to a decade to who knows how long, uh, the, the Terrazyme digestive enzymes are crucial. They are something that we should be taking every single day, every single meal. Um, if you are trying to detox or cleanse your body, doing even more than you would think. So I think the bottle says to take two before every meal, one to two before every meal. Um, Boyd, Boyd Truman, who created the Symphony of the Cells, actually recommends in his training for a small amount of time for some people to take six of those to 10 of those a day to help your body break down and eliminate the gunk. Now, the other thing that we can do when we're looking at taking care of our cells and toxins removing from our body is to remember to support from the inside out. Last week, Rosie did an amazing class with us talking about the different supplements doTERRA has. And we're not going to recap all of that, but I would encourage you to go back and watch that recording and to really pay attention to what she said about the Zendocrine products that help to support kidney and liver function, which as we know, kidneys and liver help to flush things out, help to eliminate from our bodies. So when you're breaking down toxins, when you're changing your lifestyle and becoming more toxin free, having those products like Zendocrine or GX Assist on board can really make a huge difference. Hey, it's Rosie Gummert again. Thanks for watching the video. We're so happy to provide things here for you to learn all about using your doTERRA oils and your doTERRA products. Hit subscribe, like the video, and share this with somebody else you know that would love to learn too. See you next time.